Hello everybody, this is Bulgatmi the Creators. Today we welcome Ivelina Hristova. She paints with coffee, but we will explain this later. She's actually graduated in law, and she always thought she was meant to fight for the human rights. However, one day she realized that she wanted a change in her life. So she moved to England and she stayed there for three years. But could you explain a little bit more about this turning point in your life? All right, so, you know, it's never too late to open a new page in your life. And after I finished my law master degree, I just realized that maybe the passion of doing art is ex expressing myself more than uh, fighting for human rights. But now I just realized that if I want to change something, it's not the only way to be a lawyer or okay. to fighting for human rights. I can just... Uh, change the world by changing myself first. Mm -hmm. I mean, I can show the people how I can show people how to fight for their dreams. And I open a new page in my life uh, doing art because this is my real passion. Mm -hmm. I can't imagine my life without art. Mm -hmm. Okay, could you explain us a little bit more about this original practice of painting with coffee? All right, so today I brought something for you especially for the interview okay. and this is my coffee painting that I used. So uh, I use original like uh, mix with oh, okay. uh, instant coffee with water, more coffee, less water. Uh, I checked before, like three years ago or five, that there weren't a lot of uh, coffee artists doing uh, picture with coffee. And it was really difficult for me to find uh, the best mixture of okay. for the painting for my picture. And it took a lot of time like practicing how much coffee to put in water but if you want to see it's like it's like a real paint yeah, you, you see ink. yeah so now it's always the same technique the same yeah yeah and i like this uh, pop art picture so i use this kind of coffee mm -hmm. because it's like really black and when i put in the white uh, sheet of paper it become like a contrast with the black and white and uh -huh. i really like it Why coffee? What does coffee mean to you? All right, so it's a really interesting story because I'm really coffee addicted person and I'm art addicted person. So I try to mix my two passions in one. You know, coffee in the history, there is a lot of people being expi inspired by uh, the coffee. Even like uh, Beethoven, he mm -hmm. was, no, it was Bach. Okay. He was writing like a musician work for his addiction to coffee and he said that he need at least three cups of coffee per day mm -hmm. because uh, uh, if he don't doesn't drink uh, coffee he'll look like uh, his face will be like ugly as a ugly gold okay and even uh, the author of the little prince uh, he started writing uh, his works uh, 11 o'clock in the evening and uh, he needed to drink a lot of coffee and you can find like a small dots of coffee on his artworks so for me coffee is like uh, is a passion coffee is life coffee is love coffee is art and i think that while while you're drinking a coffee with friends you can share a lot of ideas a lot of thoughts a lot of love and even a cup of coffee can alarm you during the cold day mm -hmm. and coffee just give me energy to to doing action and to, yeah to do are you currently involved in other projects apart from coffee painting oh yeah so uh at the beginning of, of the next month we're go uh, we're gonna have some workshop uh drawing with coffee mm -hmm. and uh a place close to Sofia, there will be like charity concert. So I'm gonna be there okay. in Dona Malina in second, third, and the fourth, I think, of June. Yeah, but I will update my page so you're gonna check where is it. Okay, great. Uh, in the end of the year, I'm gonna participate in the Balkan Youth Festival. So I'm gonna have a exhibition and coffee workshops in Sundanski. This is gonna happen in the first week of September. 
And to be honest, I will try to apply for the Sofia Breed Festival in the end of this month. Mm -hmm. I mean, June, actually. So maybe, probably, you're going to see me there as well. <laughs> Hopefully, yes. Yeah. Do you think it's easy to live off a uh, painting here in Sofia? Maybe not just you, but the other people that you know. Uh, to be honest, uh, I've been living uh, the past three years in in UK, so uh, I'm kind of surprised uh, how uh, the art culture here is growing and growing. For example, especially the handmade handmade uh, markets, and I'm really impressed that there is a lot of shops where you can leave your stuff, your artworks, mm -hmm. and there is a lot of art festival that coming and organized here in the capital and I'm really surprised that there's a lot of places where people can uh, go and see your artworks but to be honest uh, my family is not uh, so uh, they're not support me so much to doing my art because they know how difficult it is to be a painter or artist and living in Bulgaria for example mm -hmm. it was pretty easy uh, in UK to be an artist because people really appreciate your artworks but here you know first is the food second is the clothes for the kids third is going maybe abroad or paying for your expenses living expenses and at least mm -hmm. in the end maybe they're going to buy a picture or something for a special occasion okay. you know how it's everywhere mm -hmm. but uh, if you really believe in your passion there is things happen like the whole universe help you to find okay. and meet the right people to help you and support you to doing your dreams so it, it is was, possible yeah it is mm -hmm. possible yeah okay you started your this uh, coffee painting in England, and now you're back in Bulgaria. Mm -hmm. So could you um, explain a little bit pros and cons of working here, or make a comparison between England and Bulgaria? All right. So um, I started there, and um, I were uh, connected with some uh, small art shops. So I tried to promote my artwork there. Uh, after when I came back in Bulgaria, I tried to promote my art with uh, the page I've got and uh, I'm trying to do an art channel in Twitch mm -hmm. and in YouTube so I can draw live live stream and people okay. can ask me questions during my I'm painting mm -hmm. would you tell us something about the customers you have like if they are all from here or worldwide mm -hmm. ages maybe yeah so uh, I've got a couple of uh, eBay uh, uh, buyers Mm -hmm. Yeah, and uh, to be honest, uh, for now it's much more easier for me to sell my picture like when I talk uh, with people face to face, when oh, I go okay. to participate in the festivals and they see me, they see my artworks, they can touch it, they can feel it, they can smell it. And they get to know you yeah, and, and it's history behind. It's really much more easier to do it like in the real contact. It's really special gift and unique for them it's yeah. something that they have never found anywhere so they order me more often uh, like uh, personal portrait pictures yeah okay. you see your future here in Bulgaria yeah why not <laughs> I mean I like to travel and Bulgaria for now is my next stop so I see my future everywhere basically not just here for now I'm I will spend a couple of maybe year or I don't know but I really love to travel and if I can do my art here, I can do it everywhere. Okay, perfect. And future projects? Future projects, so we have this interview, this special place and uh, there is uh, two lovely lady working here and this is their own place, so we're thinking to start YouTube channel connected with fashion and with art. Mm -hmm. We're gonna do some workshop, coffee workshops, maybe next month we'll start, so people can come here and try because before, like a month ago, I tried to do a workshop and people were really impressed how to... So you already tried this Yeah, workshops. yeah, and you know, a lot of kids um, like it and mm -hmm. been interested in because uh, even coffee uh, painting can be used for like art therapy with some people with some problems physical or okay. mental, yeah, so you can use it everywhere. So those were the questions, Evelina, thank you very much thank for you. collaborating with us and answer all our questions. 
Um, we will put the links of your web and your YouTube channel down below so people can reach you and know where, when and where these workshops are going to be and I think it's going to be amazing for everybody to come. Yeah, you're more than welcome. <laughs> Enjoy. Thank you. Join us.